Hey guys, welcome back. It's me, Rajan Sharma. And today in this video, guys, I'm going to show you that how can we get the URL of the file that we have uploaded in Firebase Storage. Okay, guys, so you can see that when I will select any image, for example, that I have selected uh, any random image of this WhatsApp. Okay, so I have selected this WhatsApp image. You can see its name 372 and I will simply upload it. Okay, and now you can see that it is saying uploaded. And when I will click on the button, okay, so here you can see that we have a message getting URL link. Okay and uh, now you can see that we have the url of the file that we have uploaded so when i will click on it so you will be able to simply see the whatsapp images so you can see it here okay so you can see that guys are uh, today in this tutorial i'm going to show you that how can we retrieve the url of the image file that we are uploading okay so here you can see that we have that whatsapp 372.16 the file that we have uploaded <laughs> So first of all what here we have to do is you can see that this is a stuff of our previous tutorial where I'm showing you how to insert image. So in this video what you're going to do is you just have to first of all simply click on this and uh, type constant and we will create another variable. Okay and here you have to write the caps URL. Okay and uh, now after writing that so even if it's not capital slog but make sure the first word is caps. Okay URL and uh, then here you have to create a method set url okay guys and uh, then here equals to and now we will just make it url okay so we have constant url then comma then url then equals to use state okay then brackets and quotation sorry that will be null so you just have to leave it empty okay so now after that inside this so return after that here you have to write a set url okay and inside that we will pass a value that getting url link okay then write getting url link okay so here you just have to give this so it will show a message that the process is undergoing so users can wait so after that guys here you can simply remove that constant that we have just generated here okay and also this function also so is uh, now after that this setting url method we are having this const storage reference we are basically we are uh, saving the data okay guys so now here after that what you have to do is here you can see that we have this alert method okay so now instead of closing this you just have to write comma okay and then we will use a uh, empty brackets and then arrow function okay so just make it arrow function and then after that curly braces and inside that curly braces guys we re really can perform the operation okay about retrieving the data and uh, make sure that uh, yeah everything looks like what i'm showing you okay so everything should be exactly like the way i'm doing it now after that you have to write storage reference then brackets inside it you have to give the value of the reference or database so simply write images okay and then after that here you will pass the child and the child is going to be of course image name that we are saving okay image dot name and uh, now after that you just have to write get download url and it will simply get the url okay and then brackets again and uh, now after that guys here you will simply write dot then and after that what we will do we will simply create brackets and inside that you have to pass the url or uh, make sure the just to make it url okay small url not caps now after just leaving one bracket you just have to again write the arrow functions and then starting and ending braces and here you have to write set url and then simply pass after writing brackets this time you have to pass that url here and then after that guys you just have to simply write semicolon and everything is okay fine so now i guess so there is so so you know guys you can see that here exactly we are having a problem and uh, that problem is let me check the codes again so actually it is showing this one is missing so i hope uh, we need uh, and uh, here we are having this 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 we are closing this reference here putting this image we are closing on so actually we are missing this one more uh, you know so here first of all storage dot reference and then image name then dot put name then here we have double quotation then bracket and from here we have started coding images then dot child then image name then get download url then 
we have one more here so we are actually closing it here plus you can see the color and uh, then i guess so in this ending we also need one more bracket and uh, then semicolon yes guys so now it's absolutely okay so you can see that the error is gone okay and when i will save the file so we will not face any error so it means that it's uh, pretty correct everything is quite good okay so uh, guys now you can see that we have simply retrieving the data i mean url here so now i just want to show that url to you guys so i will simply write here a br tag okay a br and then simply close it sorry close it and now guys after that we are tag we are gonna simply use show the url to you guys so for that what you have to do is uh, simply we will use a very basic p tag that is the html element that we uses for showing the paragraphs okay now after that here you have to write is href and then sorry uh, not href you just have to use a tag it will automatically show the href and inside it you can use href and the value of it will be you just have to simply use braces and pass that url okay so url and again here you have to pass the url brackets and then closing braces and inside it you have to write url so guys now you can see that our coding part is almost complete and almost no it's really complete okay so now you just have to save the file and you can see that there is no error so after that guys for showing for seeing the output you just have to write here in the terminal is a cd and it will open the file hello dash world that is our project name here you can see hello world okay now you have to click on the button enter and now we are inside that project we can simply go run it so write npm start and enter and you have just have to wait for a few seconds then it will open in browser so you can see the output whatever we have done You can see it is saying starting the server you just have to wait okay it may take a while so as you can see that we are exactly having uh, no files here and this is guys our storage so just uh, open this okay and here you can see that we have uploaded some images in our previous tutorial so i'm going to select a file okay and the file is uh, let me select any different name file okay for example so here i have this snap.png so i'm gonna open it okay and now you can see its name snap.png i'm gonna upload it and now we have this message localhost says 3000 so okay and now you can see that getting url link and uh, the process is working working and you can see that we have this uh, url here so when i will click on it so it will simply take us to that url and you can see that it is an image that we have uploaded so you can see that guys and when you will open here so you can see that we have the snap.png file so here you can see that we have that file okay so you can see that our tutorial is working absolutely fine we have successfully derived the a value of that image file that we have uploaded so guys if you like this video so please like share and subscribe my channel and do not forget to press the bell icon so you will never miss any update thank you for watching